Okay, guys. So, here's a black man who's going to try his hand at making um, curry. And today, I am making fish, curry fish. Okay. So, here I have the curry powder. I've got a couple different kinds. Here's some jira right here. Okay, I've got that in there, so I'm gonna make this into a paste. And this paste right here is going to go into this pot, which I have some oil in there, okay? Um, I'm using grapeseed oil. So let me get this mixed up, I'll add some water in here, and make this into a paste, and then I'll drop it in the pot, and I'll be right back. Guys, alrighty, so it's in, it's in a paste form. So I'm now going to drop this into that uh, the spot we see right here. It's got, got the oil in there. It should be yep, nice and warm. Okay. We got a little stir steam. Right. So the idea is to, uh, you know, get the oils, all the essential oils in the, of the curry out so you get it a little nice and hot so you cook it down a little bit. So in there we'll add um, some tomatoes. And I also have some um, seasoning for doing that. Okay, so this seasoning right here is ground up seasoning. It's, it's uh, scallions, garlic, onions, basil, a few other, few other things in there, okay? So let's get this frying and then into that, I'm going to add, uh, oh by the way, here's a look at the seasoning. I uh, grind this up in the um, in the blender, okay? So over here, I've got these potatoes soaking in water. I've already washed, cut them up and washed them. So I'm gonna add these guys into the pot right here, okay? So now I'm going to add some water into this and bring add some water to the level of where the potato is and, and let it uh, boil until the potato cooks up. Give me one second, I'll be back with the next part of the pot. Okay guys, so the oil should be hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, this fish in, in the oil and start frying. So over here is a plate. I've got some uh, flour black pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and some uh, a light sprinkle of salt, okay? So, very lightly, guys, very, very lightly. Okay, here's the hot oil. I'm gonna sit that one down in there. I'm gonna move over here. We're gonna grab ourselves another one, okay? Get this all nice and covered in flour nice and lightly, take the excess off, drop it down in there, okay, got another piece here,
Okay, and so we're gonna let these guys fry on both sides, nice and brown. And now um, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys. So fish has been frying for a while, so let's go ahead and get these guys flipped over here. Okay. See, they're starting to get brown. They're starting to build up a nice crust. That's all flavor. So we're gonna let these guys go ahead and uh, keep frying. So in the meantime, over here, we've got the potatoes boiling, the tomatoes and the curry and things like that. So we're uh, looking pretty good, guys. Everything is smelling awesome, delicious. So um, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys. So. These guys are pretty much where I, where I want them to be. This one right here got stuck a little bit to the bottom of the pan, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get these guys out of, the, out of there. Cool. They're uh, nice and firm. And so the reason why I like to uh, fry these guys a little bit before putting them in the curry just so that they won't like break apart too much because you know fish is a tender meat so all right so I got these guys sitting in this uh, paper towel right here to drain them off so right now I'm just waiting for the potato for it to be like you know almost done and when there's like you know two or three minutes left for the potato to be finished cooking completely that's when you want to drop these guys in there okay so I'll be right back when I uh, uh, take you guys through that process. Okay guys, so I just test checked those potatoes and they're almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, pieces of fish in there. I'm just gonna lay them on top for now. Just like that. And I'm going to put the lid back on it, okay? And uh, let the potatoes finish cooking, guys, and we'll be right back. Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to be eating this with uh, white rice. So over here is a pot of nice and fluffy white rice that uh, I'm going to I'm going to be eating the, the curry with. So. Yeah, so I'll be right back, guys. Let you guys see the um, the finished product, how it looks at the end. Okay. Okay, guys. So it's all done. So I'm going to uh, get some of this on my plate. As you can see, the fish has all been incorporated. Okay. So let's get some out of there. Mellow vision, guys. Wow. All right, let me finish getting this on my plate and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, guys. So here's the finished product. Um, it looks delicious. It smells so delicious, guys. Um, yeah, so this is my version of uh, fish curry. So delicious guys now I don't have a um, specific recipe per se like for example one teaspoon of this half a teaspoon of that you know what I mean um, ever since I was a kid I watched my grandmother making this back in Guyana so that's how I know how to make she never like measure things like precisely she just you know add things in there and taste as you go so uh yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i mean um if you would like 
if you leave leave your comments in below and I will uh, I guess maybe write something up give you guys a little directions on how to do it but uh yeah thanks for watching please like subscribe hope you guys have a delicious day bye bye